It has been a fantastic week. I think, honestly, the best CES ever for Vice. I think that it was important to meet the community, to meet agencies, brands, partner, tech partner, and really look at that kind of unique offering, honestly, that Vice can deliver. Every day, we produce 1,500 video piece of content, name them in 25 languages. So we have 900 content producers in 35 countries, 500 editing suite. It's a huge content machine. But we're also a media company, as you know. Started from magazine in, in Quebec 24 years ago. This year is the 25th year. And then moving to digital with all the X becoming the Y. And now moving uh, to mobile and social everywhere with that Gen Z uh, changing completely the game. And I think that for brands, understanding in a deep way how that generation is completely reinventing rules of engagement and the relationship between brands and them, corp and them, the future of work, the future of relationship. All these youngsters are really reinventing the game. And so for us, I mean, Shane Smith, our founder, used to say, millennial level bullshit detector. This generation have a bullshit flamethrower. They are activists. They define themselves as activists. 74% define themselves as really wanted to make that positive change. And so for Vice, we have 36 million of them on Snap, for instance, 20 million in the US and 16 million in, in EMEA. It's a, it's a great commitment to empower them, to enlighten them, their life and also entertain them because it has to be funny and and life is already hard and tough and uh, and they, they know it but then want to fix the system which is fantastic so every brand wanted to go deep in that kind of gen z insight and i think that we have probably the biggest library a survey and 35,000 people we we interview every day plus understanding exactly uh, the depths of, of of vice and it's not just media, it's Vice News with incredible success on HBO, it's Vice Studio with long form and documentary, January 18 on Netflix, tune for fire. That huge music festival was supposed to be Woodstock in Bahamas, it has been a gigantic scam. We got 300 hours of footage and that documentary will be epic, fire January 18. And of course, as I mentioned, uh, we have Virtue, our creative agency, having great success as well. So no, all great. And for what you mentioned in your question, a live show, live on TV is back. And again, everything started with, uh, with the insight from that generation. They want unexpected. They want to be surprised. If you want them to watch something for two hours, it needs to be very different and not pre-tape or pre-produced because they can watch that anytime. And so February 4th, we will have the, 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 first, uh, the first show, 9 p.m., 11 p.m., and, and huge uh, possibility for, for, for brand uh, integration. Remember the Golden Globes? The brand that killed it was Fiji Water basic product integration. So we, we, we should have fun in 19 and, uh, and again, still some great industry challenges that we want also to face and, and being a, a power for change. So I wanted to ask you about the new brands and the advertisers that are embracing the platform and moreover embracing television. We hear a lot about the challenger brands, we yeah. hear a lot about direct-to-consumer, we hear about why they're embracing television. What are your, what's your point of view? I mean, 100% of the growth of CPG brands last year has been due to insurgent brands, digital brands, new indie brands. For the same reason, that generation doesn't want to be put in a box. It's true for their identity, it's true for their relationship and relation with work, but it's also true with brands. And so they don't want necessarily the brands of dads and moms. So the huge pressure for these big legacy brands, these multi-billion dollar brands, is that they need to be reconsidered. And to be reconsidered, that means that they need also to be surprising. They need also to go beyond their comfort zone. They need imperatively to, uh, to, to become meaningful for that generation. And they are not. So the quest for relevancy is one of the big challenges of the big global brand. And that's why we had fantastic discussion all these weeks, because we know how to talk to them. And we know also that this generation trust us. We have a level of trust, 89% of this generation trust Vice, trust our unique tone and our unique approach. We are covering topics that not every media 
uh, 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 is, is covering for sure. But it's also that incredible relationship and loyalty that help us to find the right tone for this brand. They need to be bold, but they need also to understand that what is at stake is literally their survival.